What's up, everybody? Welcome to Vienna, Georgia. Yes, named after Vienna, Germany. Austria. Germany. Whoa. Potholes. Whoa. And that pothole down there. Man. What's up with all these potholes? Why is there a tractor driving down the highway? Dude, these potholes, will they get like snow here or something? Why are there potholes? What is up with these potholes? Oh my God. Oh. I'm about ready to turn around and get, get, up, get up out of here with these potholes. I know. I hope the road gets better. Get well soon down here. <laughs> what? <laughs> get well soon. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, hopefully we can make it to the town of Vienna. It's south of Atlanta. You're in, in it. In Macon. It's a little town named after Vienna, Germany. Austria, Jose. Germany. Austria. Germany. Go look at a map. It's Austria. I don't need to look at a map. I'm a geophysist. Yeah, you're something, all right. They do have good food here. There's two good restaurants. Uh, apparently, there's two Mexican restaurants downtown. There's Tienda y Taqueria Mi Familia, which looks spectacular. But we're going to eat at Jack's today, uh, hopefully. There's a Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly 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 Wig. I met my wife at the Piggly Wiggly Wig. We get our groceries at the Piggly Wiggly Wig. We can't afford Publix. We get our stuff at the Piggly Wiggly Wig. All right, y'all. So, welcome to Vienna. Good barbecue. 11% Hispanic. It's probably like 13% by now. Y'all know how we Hispanic people like uh, procreation. Um, procreation for documentation. And don't be getting ideas on us. All right, so this town's named after Vienna, Germany. <laughs> Vienna, Austria, Jose. Right. Vienna, Australia. Austria. Australia. Welcome to historic Vienna, Morehead. Well, I don't. I hope so. This is I would top. hope so. Hang on, laundry machine on the middle of the road. Oh, sweet! Is that a jag? What is that? That's cool. Jag. I don't know what the crap that is. Jag. Really? Yeah. Look at that house. Yeah, nice historic looking homes. Brant's barbecue pit. Nice big houses, new roof on that one. That's a good sign. Beautiful. Oh, there's beautiful houses over here on the way back. We'll go through there. Okay. Look at that one. Oh, they're beautiful. Big Victorian houses. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. You know, I've really been surprised at how beautiful these little towns in Georgia have been. You know, you think because they're right by the interstate that they're not really worth looking at. Mm -hmm. But I have found some incredible architecture in Look all these one. beautiful Victorian oh. houses. Colonial. And that one's restored. Yeah, they don't look at me. Look at the road. Well, this is their town. This is their downtown. That downtown down there. Is that a Caprice downtown? That's what's up, though. Yeah. Take it looks right like right half out. the businesses aren't even open. Yeah, there's a ticket right here. Okay. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's a small town. It's not big. Now, their population has been stagnant. They, there's, apparently, for a while, the population exploded. And then that went away. I don't know what that's about, but I think that's just an abnormality or something. Maybe the people that do the census in this part of the country don't know how to count. Wouldn't be surprised. But it seems like the population's been stagnant. There's a Mexican restaurant here. Mm -hmm. And there's more, uh, real Mexican people going to the restaurant. You can take a right whenever you get a chance. It looks like any of these streets to the right. Mm -hmm. Not this one, but the next one. Okay. Rain's been horrible. It's like stop and go around. That weird one? Yeah, up there. Okay. It's a real tiny town, but they have a large Hispanic population. There's a pretty decent Hispanic population here. Deep hangout spot over there. Piggly Wiggly behind us. So that gas station is deep by the hunt speaker. Yeah. Should I keep driving? Um, no, take Watch. a right. Okay. The hangout spot is deep. Whoa, what's up with the car behind you? What are they doing? Is that yeah. a cop? Oh. What are they doing? I don't know. Are they following you now? Let's try what you're doing right now. Yeah. Uh, not this right, but the next. Okay. Why would that car do that? It almost, it's just about almost hit you. 
Uh-huh. It looks like a police car, but it's not a police car. It's not like one of those metal bumper it's things. It's not. It's too old to be a police car. Yeah. Take a right here on fourth, no, on the fifth. Fifth. Not this one. The next one. Okay. You like it was trying to ram me. You need to be careful. Yeah. Ah, oh, you hit it. Take a right here. These are turn signals, so you don't know what you're doing. Looks like they're trying to ram you. Yeah. Take a right here. Very aggressive driver. Mm -hmm. Not only are they driving aggressively, but then they also have like a metal. It's a car, but they have that metal bumper like the police cars. Like, slow down, buddy. So let's take a look at stuff. Mm -hmm. They have like the metal bumper like police cars have. Mm -hmm. So it's like they're driving aggressively and with a metal bumper, like trying to push you off the road. That's kind of yeah. pretty hostile. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not a good sign. Oh. The architecture of this town for sure. Palm tree right there, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I can't believe there's palm trees this far north, you're almost to make it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a right here. Take a right? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, keep going straight. This car's doing the same thing too? Around your bumper. What's up with these people driving like this in this town? He was missing a Cadillac converter. You can hear his engine revving. Okay. Dude, look at the size of these houses. You can tell. Yeah. Neat, huh? Yeah. They're big old houses. Take a left here. A left? So yeah. Okay. I'm not sure why they're so aggressive about you driving through here. Mm. That's kind of odd, huh? Mm -hmm. so there's, a, there's a lot of, like, this is a, a Spanish church here in this house for some reason. Mm -hmm. The blue roof, this is a Spanish church. There's 11% Hispanic population. It might be bigger than that from what I can tell. Mm -hmm. Be able to cross the railroad tracks here, and you probably should. Yeah. Right. yeah. Turn right and cross the tracks. Spanish people here. Yeah. There's Spanish people here because there's jobs that nobody else wants to do. So it's not like it's a it's not a beacon of Hispanic progress. The reason there's a Hispanic population here is because watch out with the school bus stupid. Yeah. These cops will pull you over. Move out of the way so the bus can turn. Move, move, move. So the bus can turn. Go, 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 so the bus can go. These straight troopers don't play around out here, Katie. They see you out driving like an idiot, they're gonna pull you over. So, what the crap is your problem? Give you a radical case for getting in the way of a school bus. Okay, so when the road ends, you're gonna take a, a left, but it's gonna be a very sharp left. When the road turns, you're gonna take a sharp left. See that main highway? That's the one you came in through? Yeah, where it says pits. You know, yeah. Uh, 
much you want to go to America's, but we can't on this trip, so. What? Yeah. Turn signal, baby, turn signal. Yeah. I hate how in Georgia, cars have these metal, uh, they're not cops. Mm -hmm. Cops, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, of course. They're not cops, but then they have, uh, go right after the trip car quickly, go, go. They're not cops, but then they have that metal bar, like if they were cops. Because there's deer. But then they use it to like harass people while they're driving. Yeah. They use it to, to, to road rage people. Unfortunately. Just a jerk move, right? Mm -hmm. Are there golf carts on the road? It's a complete jerk move, let's be honest. Yeah. They, they have the metal bumper guards like if they were cops, but then they're not. Mm -hmm. And then they drive around like road raging people. Yeah. And how can you be just a miserable person where your choice of vehicle that's what I don't get about people in the South. So now your preference and vehicle, like when I look at a car, I look at a vehicle that I like and I, I think I like it and enjoy it. No, they buy a car that looks aggressive, that has a bumper car so they can crash into people they feel like it. Mm -hmm. Like how do you allow being a jerk to dictate every aspect of your life, including the vehicle you drive? Like that's what I don't get about people in the South. Like it's like they go out of their way to be the most um, imposing, like so they can imp they'll do they'll, they'll, in order to be able to impose themselves upon other people, they'll go to any extent to do it, including the type of vehicle they drive. I couldn't be I couldn't live like that. Like I buy a car because I like it, not because of how the car is gonna be able to be used to harass other people. I don't get it. They sell ATVs and beds. <laughs> well, there's the South for you. What's wrong with selling the TV? Popeyes for the exit. The old school Popeyes. I'm going to go ahead and say this town has a bad vibe. What do you think? Yeah. It really does. Take a left here. This town has a very bad vibe. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to even lie to you. It really has a bad vibe. I want to get to the gray before it gets to be nightfall. I agree. Department of Natural Resources. <laughs> well, go, women! I love you. Don't love me when I'm mad at you. I love you even when I'm mad at you. For those two seconds I'm screaming at you, I don't love you. I love you even when I scream at you. So gray is, it's a good drive. It's uh, an hour and 18 minutes. We'll be there by 5.30. Unfortunately, we have to go, go off to the orange truck. Go off to our There you go. Anyway, this is why I couldn't be one of those people that like, their preferences and the things they do revolve around the things they do bothering other people. Yeah. I couldn't live be that miserable. Mm -hmm. All right, you're an hour and eight minutes, and we'll be there by 5.30. We'll almost be dark by the time we get there. This is why we've never gone to Gray. Yeah. And once you're there, the closest town is Millageville, and that town sucks. Yeah. And then Eatonton, that town sucks as well. That's why we really haven't gone that area. Yeah. That's it.